Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Old Bay. Merry Christmas. Um, this is a figure I picked up on my way back from a Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Uh, way, way out of town. I picked it up at an Ollie's in Kansas, which I don't, I don't live in Kansas, but um, it was a long trip and had it in a box. It was in a large box and I ended up unboxing it on the way home just to save space. Uh, I could fit it in my luggage. Uh, it was, it was a long trip. Anyway, uh, so even though she's already open, I did want to share this figure because I thought this was an amazing figure at an amazing price. Uh, I think she was $6.99 or $7.99 um, for a beautiful Fortnite figure. Oh, T and Tina. And the fact that she came with this really cool glider, uh, that which is why the box was so big. It also came with this massive clear flight stand. So... By the time you stick this on here, this thing gets pretty large. It's kind of hard to see it all. Um, I will show it to you and back up just a little bit, but I'll run through the figure real quick first. Um, so this is not one of the Fortnite figures done by uh, Jazzwares. This is one done by Hasbro. Uh, so uh, they call it the Victory Royale series. I think they are a little better. They're less articulated and they come with less stuff. All she came with was a back bling and the glider, like no weapons or anything like that, which I thought was kind of weird. But um, the main difference between these and the Jazzwares ones, these don't have articulated fingers and hands and articulated toes because those are worthless and you don't need them anyway. Um, you may be missing a few other things articulation-wise, but not much. You get ball-jointed shoulders, which are serviceable. They're not bad. You get double-jointed elbows. You get a rotation. Um, don't know if you get a pivot. Do you get a pivot? I can't see it. Yes, you do get a pivot. Um, you get an ab movement right there under the shirt. That line is hidden. You also get another one at the waist that does about the same thing. So they both kind of move adequately. The paint on the figure looks great. The head sculpt uh, looks pretty, but she is a little flat faced, which I've noticed is a problem, uh, which I've seen with some female figures. I don't know why it's a problem with this one, but it is. Ball joints at the hips with an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, rotation at the top of the boot, and ankle rocker pivots at the ankles. Um, pretty good figure all in all. I, it is weird she doesn't come with any weapons. Um, they make different versions of her. Uh, they make like a light pink version too. <clears throat> but if you want to kind of see her, how she works the glider, Glider comes in pieces, and of course you float down and you land, and I thought that looked great. But you can also display her, and you put that glider up on here, and that kind of pivots like that, and I can raise up and show it to you. So, I mean, she sits a good 14 inches off the, off the ground here, uh, but I think it just displays really nicely. Uh, yeah, and for a, for a $7 figure, I thought it was more than adequate. So, you get the big flight stand, you get the glider, you get all that. And it's not too bad of a price. I thought it was worth it. Anyway, that's how I'm going to leave it. A little bit, a little bit sad that I had to unbox it on the way home. It was just one of those deals. Uh, couldn't get her home otherwise. It was taking up too much room. But I figured that I wanted to tell you guys about and tell you that it was probably worth snagging if you could get it. Um, because I thought it was definitely nice. If you're a Fortnite fan. Anyway, uh, that's my story. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye.